hello viewers how are you today i show you how to repair a hard disk or how to repair a hard disk drive or how to replace a hard disk drive hard disk drive asus vivobook x542 uf series it's in vivobook series so let's start now first open the all screw from laptop bottom case here is lot of screw first line uh, have four screw then three screw then four screw we are already open uh, two screw now open our number four please all screw set up separate by separate previously video sizes uh, asus bottom case all screw size are not same so if you are new or uh, you are mixed your uh, you mixed all screw then you are damaged in letter all are done now open the ram slot screw here uh, this open this slot and have both side two screw if not close the two screw laptop not open without adapter connection this screw are already included by battery power connection all are done now open the lcd cover use ejector i will use anti cutter blade use ejector and open the keyboard module on your both hand already i will do it if you are not able use uh, plastic plate or use another I already use a plastic blade just push the keyboard and move your hand then keyboard will be opened almost done now keyboard will be opened have no easy it's hard now opened now remove the touchpad cable and remove the keyboard module cable now open the full keyboard module This laptop hinge is already broken by user so I cannot solve it because it's solved for uh, need to replace laptop bottom case close the DVD room and now remove the audio board cable and open at remove the audio board screw and totally remove the audio board with cable now remove the battery open the battery screw one screw then two screw and have three screw three screw not same size so must be careful when you open the oil screw now remove the battery now open the HDD screw one screw are open and move the HDD drive HDD drive have four screw open the oil screw use a screwdriver one are done two are done have more two number three screw are opened 
and now last one is number four all sizes is small and fat size and not another size have all four square same size after done open the original HDD now HDD have a paper use plastic and open the paper it's so so easy so when you open it it will be broken from your side it's not it's not a problem it's not a big problem I'm trying my best but I fail fail mean um, I not open properly just follow the instruction I will try hardly I replace the HDD because HDD have lot of bad sector bad sector for uh, system run very slowly system run blue skin uh, system run uh, smile fatty roll facing this problem after scan I checked HDD have lot of bad sector that mean a system run very slowly or operating system have run very slowly or working for uh, very slowly blue screen fatal error or something lot of problem faced so that's why uh, if I replace the HDD and added the new HDD problem will be solved this laptop have uh, m.2 ssd short plot if anyone want this so uh, added uh, added it edited it mm -hmm. model is uh, m.2 sata 36 gbs not nvme m.2 sata 6 gbs model is s2280 already uh, hard disk paper is removed done now i unbox a new hdd i change it is uh, to toshiba hdd i think is uh, from is to uh, toshiba hdd best and again edit this paper a new HDD After done, uh, included HDD box and close the four screw. One are done. First time 
at a time not hardly four screw just added a uh, screw position all screw and then close it hardly one are done two are done number now three i just added all screw after four screw at a time added then i will close hardly all screw now set the hdd case in right, right position and add the battery battery left side have uh, m.2 uh, m. port port and close the battery screw with hdd screw this screw is battery and hdd this screw is battery and motherboard and this screw is battery and hinge no, sorry, bottom case now close the io board or audio board or usb board and added the power cable in motherboard now close the screw in hd board and this one is screw is hd screw close to hd to motherboard after done i added odd and dvd writer close it and close the screw all done now fit the keyboard module close the keyboard power cable now close the touchpad cable and added the tape fit it hardly after run close the bottom case all screw total have 10 and 12 screw and one half small board screw total 13 screw in bottom case number 7 screw is done 8 number 8 number 9 screw and number 10 bottom case big size all screw are close done now check the power and display just wait a minute displays will be count and close the number 11 is screw 12th number is screw and 
close the small board and close the last one number 13 number is true all work is done now open the LCD cover press the power button and run the laptop enjoy your time thanks for watching the video have a good day